In a minute, we're going to hear from Casey Dickey. But before that, we've got a little interview, a special interview. We were lucky enough the other day when we were down covering the police rally to bump into the one and only Barry Jones. He's always got something to say. It's always great to talk with him. And this was no exception. Well, Barry Jones, we're in the city and it's nice to spot you. How are you going? Well, I'm saddened, of course, by the death of John Button. Yes. And um, it's, uh, it's very sad. He made a tremendous contribution. And he'll be remembered as one of the great industry ministers and certainly one of the outstanding figures of the Hawke government. Indeed. And um, I did come across him. I had discussions with him when I was up there in Wills. And he was yep. a good, fine man and had a strong view about the car industry. Oh, he certainly did. But he also, but he was much broader than that. He yes. had a very broad view about where the country was going and the kind of that we wanted to have a, a more decent, more inclusive, more appropriate kind of uh, uh, way that brought out the best in Australia. Well, apropos that, the Republic seems to be possibly back on the agenda. What do you think? Well, look, I think it's a whole wonder of a whole number of things that Rudd will be looking at, but it's clear that the in the first uh, term of the government that the priorities are going to be Aboriginal issues, they've got to be environmental issues, they've got to be educational issues, and I think that uh, while there are many people who look forward to, to the Republic, I think he would probably see it as being in the next tier of things that have to be, that have to be addressed. And where you've got to get, uh, not dropping too broad a hint, where there's got to be a greater degree of collaboration between people of like mind. <laughs> Indeed there does. Not thinking of anyone in yeah. particular. <laughs> Are you a bit troubled by the disputes going on? We've got the police here today and the teachers, so key services within the community and a lot of tension in the state about that? Well, you've got a strong tension over the question about whether we should be moving towards reducing taxation levels so that yes. people have got more disposable income in their pocket. Yes. Or whether you say, well, there's a line below which you can't fall about the expenditure you need for education, for health, for public services and for the police. And that's a political dilemma yes. that really hasn't been resolved. So that's coming from a Fabian Keynesian, uh, famous Australian. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Always lovely to catch up with you, Barry. Good to see you, Phil. Bye then. Okay, bye.